Hey, this is Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this video tutorial where I show you the exact tools and resources I use every single day in my real estate business. Today's video is a little extra special because not only I'm going to be showing you some really cool stuff, specifically I'm going to be showing you how to build a workflow in Podio to automatically send text messages. Now you can send text messages to your renters, your leads, your uh, contractors, really anything. I'm gonna show you how to do it in the context of lead management today, but you can use the logic for virtually anything in your business. Now this video is special because the work I'm doing is for a longtime client of mine. Uh, his name is JT, he owns a company called Maven Construction. Now they recently picked up their entire operation and moved to North Carolina to help those affected by Hurricane Florence. So they're taking their expertise in construction and they are fixing up houses that were impacted by Hurricane Florence. So what I'm doing is I'm helping him build out a podio system so that he can um, best serve those those people, right? So, so that he's got an efficient uh, business that he can increase his throughput rate, increase his response time to leads, and we're gonna get that moving in podio uh, to make sure he gets as much work done as possible. Now at the end of the video, I'm gonna, uh, I'll you know, talk a little bit more about this, how you can, first of all, if you're, if you're one of those people who have been impacted, uh, how you can get in touch with JT and Maven, or uh, if you have any skills or abilities and you're in the area or want to get to the area, they need labor super, super bad. So I'm going to bring that up toward the end and uh, hopefully we can bring some people together here. But back to what we're going to learn today. I'm going to take a leads app, which I'm helping them out with. Now, leads are those coming in, actually, it's probably from this form, okay? So this form is going to hit Podio with a new lead, right? And what we wanna do with that lead is to be able to nurture that lead and be able to talk to that person and uh, make sure that we're communicating with them. Now, we're gonna have a lot of leads coming through. We don't want JT to have to be in his phone and have all these contacts in his phone. So we wanna be able to text message from the Podio system. All right, so let's look at a lead and talk about how we might be able to accomplish that. All right, so we have the leads information and we have a phone number. Obviously, that's going to be important for texting, okay? And then we can do the text message workflow in a number of ways. The way I'm going to show you first is that we have a field for SMS message, and then we have a trigger to send that SMS, all right? I'm going to show you how to build a flow so when I click this button, it sends this text message to the number for the lead. All right, so let's get into it, and let's build this thing. So for those of you who haven't been doing any texting with... Um, with Podio and Real Estate um, and Glowy Flow yet? Let me just show you um, something real quick. In your account settings, you'll see your texting credits. Okay, so you're going to need to uh, manage those if you're going to be doing any texting. I think it's about three cents per text message that goes out. Incoming text messages are free. All right, so let's build this flow. Now I'm going to build this flow as a manual flow. And you'll see why in a little bit, but let's just build it. So this flow that I'm gonna build is the send text message flow. It's gonna start in the leads app. Make sure you refresh if you haven't. So I'm gonna build a manual flow. Okay, uh, we're gonna call this SMS, SMS text. All right, and so we gotta do a few things. The first, we gotta do a logical statement to make sure we have a phone number. And we got to make sure that we have a message to send. So I'm going to do a quick validation here. I'm going to say um, if phone number equals null or if SMS message equals blank, well, if that happens, I am going to say that uh, we can't send a text message. All right, so I'm going to comment on the Podio item. And actually, you know, yeah, we'll just do that. We'll say uh, unable to send SMS message. Please ensure that uh, phone and SMS message fields are populated. All right. And then I'm going to update the item so that that trigger to send the SMS message is unset. Okay. So that's like my error message. Now, if my phone number is not equal to blank and my SMS message is not equal to blank, 
And for those of you who aren't familiar with this, uh, this lot, these logical arguments in Globy Flow, just take notes. You can just copy me here, okay? And there's actually a lot of resources available on the Globy Flow site. Okay, so if I have a phone number, meaning it's not blank, and I have a message, meaning it's not blank, then I can proceed, right? I can move forward and start to build out this flow. Now, the first thing that you have to do is you have to do a little parsing of the phone number, okay? And this is a formula that I'm actually gonna copy. And again, I, I don't rewrite these formulas every time. I copy them from other things. But basically what we're doing is we're taking the phone number and we're taking out the type, okay? So, um, Again, you're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna encourage you to copy this this text. Don't try to redo it yourself. But that's um, a little bit of formatting to ensure that the phone number is set. So you can see that my preview here. It basically takes the phone number and it takes out like the word work or uh, home, etc. All right. Now with that, I'm going to uh, send SMS text. Okay. Now send message to what's the phone number? All right, now a little trick here, something to keep in mind. If we're in the United States, you gotta add the country code, okay? Plus one, then you can do your variable SMS phone. All right, it'll send the number to plus one, then 716-200-2486. All right, what is your message body? Now your message body is going to be what's in that SMS text field, but we might wanna just add something in the beginning. For example, message from Maven, okay? because Maven's the name of the company here. And then we can take the, um, the lead SMS message. All right, it's gonna send that message. Great, right? And then why don't we do one more thing, let's add a comment so that we know as a user that this happened successfully. SMS message sent to, let's pull in that guy's name, guy or gal. Okay, and then we can say, oh, sorry, I'm reading something wrong. And then uh, what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna build a flow that makes replies will appear in comments. And then let's just say what the message is. Okay, so when I do this, it'll send that message and it'll come back and tell me that the message is sent. The other thing I wanna do is I want to update this item so that the trigger to send the message is unset so that I could do it again, okay? Now this flow is manual, okay? What that means is that nothing's gonna trigger this on its own. So I'm gonna make one quick flow. When item is updated, trigger SMS, okay? So trigger send communication is changed and the value of trigger send communication is equal to send SMS. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trigger a flow SMS text. Now, you might be wondering why the heck did I do a manual flow instead of just building that whole thing in here? I'm gonna show you in a second. All right, let's do that. And then lastly, one last thing, let's do um, when a reply comes back. All right, new flow. When I get an SMS text reply, all right, Let's do a comment on the item. Let's do an at mention to the lead owner. And let's say, let's make this bold. And to make it bold, you just do the asterisk. So we can say new SMS reply from message. All right, and let's make these bold as well. All right, so we're like close to ready to get this thing going, right? Now, let's save that. Now this guy Walker, let's eliminate his phone number for a second, just so I can show you how the error checking works. Okay, so if I were to go down to send SMS and I say, when, when are you available for a site visit? All right, I wanna send that to um, this guy. If I click send SMS, it shouldn't work because um, I don't have a phone number in there yet, okay? And it's gonna reset that to no value. So if I, if I reset this, 
no message was sent. There was no phone number. Obviously, it would have nowhere to send it. So I'm going to put in a phone number here. It happens to be mine. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Okay, so now if I trigger this, it should go. Let's see. So I'll click send SMS. It, it should send a text message to this recipient. And then in the comments, tell me about it. So here we go. System message, SMS message sent to Walker Douglas. Replies will appear in comments. And then here's the message. Me message from Maven. When are you available for a site visit? Okay. Now if we look at my phone, you can see I got a phone, I got a message. If I look at what it says, here it is, message from Maven, when are you available for a site visit? And I can say, Monday at noon works for me. All right, so if that's the reply that I get back, let's see if our reply works. Looking back at Podio now, we should get a, um, a response on the Podio. And here it is, so at mention to the lead owner that we received a new SMS reply, Who's it from and what's the message? Cool, right? So that all is working nicely. Last thing I want to talk about. We're pretty much done, but there's so many different ways to trigger text messages. So I kind of like having a field like this where it's, you know, um, here's the message I want to send. Another way you could do it is you can build something into your comments, okay, uh, such that when you write a comment in a certain way, it'll pull in a text message. So let's just show you how to do that. I'm going to add a flow here when a new comment comes in. And I'm going to call this new SMS text comment. Okay. Now, what is going to be the filter on this? Well, I'm going to set up my texting uh, such that uh, the comment contains SMS colon, all right? So when that happens, what do I want to do? First, I want to create a variable, and we're going to call this SMS message. And basically, I'm going to parse out my comment that I make. OK. I'm going to parse it out, and I'm going to strip away the SMS comment. All right, and then I'm going to update this item with the SMS message field being equal to my SMS message variable. And then I'm going to trigger, and here's why we created a manual flow for that text message, SMS text. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, if I add a comment to a Podio item, I'm gonna parse that out and, and strip it away, for, strip away SMS text. And I'm going to update the send message uh, variable. And then I'm going to trigger SMS text. Let's see if that works. I'm not sure. I, I just kind of, we thought of that just now. All right. So let's save this. And then let's go to Podio. And let's say, so I want to add a comment. Now, remember my filter says it'll only work if I do SMS colon. All right. SMS colon. Uh, let's do something like can uh, can we reschedule to Tuesday? All right. So what should happen here is we should update the SMS message and then we should send that message to Walker. Okay. And looking at my phone, you can see that came through. Yes, that's fine. Maybe they would reply, and that'll hit our Podio item. And um, that way JT is in the know, right? He can come here and he can do SMS colon or he could go to that field, whatever is like faster for him, doesn't matter. We have both built in. And anytime somebody replies, we're gonna get that here as well. Obviously I do something, uh, um, we had it doubled up, so I'll look into that. But for the most part, we're in good shape here and the, uh, the texting is working well. So it's kind of complicated. It's certainly more of an advanced feature, but 